What's up everybody? I'm the Goju-Ryu Philosopher, and this is the first video in a new series, History of Goju-Ryu. I've been practicing Goju-Ryu Karate since I was about four years old, and once I had enough hand-eye coordination to do kata with actual power, I started learning as much and as passionately as I could. Every summer, my dojo would offer a gashiku, an intensive karate training camp where we would spend several full days training and learning new material. These gashiku were opportunities to learn new techniques or to go more into depth with the philosophy and application of karate. This was also when I started to learn the history of my style and how it was developed and spread from Okinawa to Japan and later to America. Goju Ryu is only one of many styles of karate. The Art of One Dojo channel has already made a lovely video titled What is Karate that does a great job discussing the variety of styles and a lot of the general history of karate. That channel also has some great series on Shotokan and Kyokushin, which are two other prominent karate styles. However, since Goju Ryu is my specialty, I wanted to bring my own take to YouTube and discuss the style that's been my home for the last 18 years. Let's begin. This first episode is going to focus on Goju Ryu as it exists today in 2020. Every style of Goju Ryu can trace its lineage back to Miyagi Chojun Sensei, an Okinawan martial artist who was among the masters to name his style and help promote karate in Japan. However, in 1953, Miyagi Sensei passed away, and several of his students took up the mantle of successor, spreading Goju Ryu until it became one of the most recognized styles of karate. Many of these martial artists formed their own dojos and organizations, and their students went on to form their own organizations, leading to a martial arts landscape with many different branches and differences. In this video, I'm going to talk about some of the major organizations that exist today. The International Okinawa Goju Ryu Karate Federation, or IOGKF, is one of the largest Goju Ryu organizations, and a great place to start. It was founded in 1979 by Higaona Morio Sensei. Higaona Sensei is one of the currently surviving 10th Dan Black Belts, and this organization is an incredibly powerful and important force in the karate world. With many direct connections to the Miyagi family, the IOGKF is the Goju Ryu organization to many karateka. Next, we have the Goju Kai, which was the organization founded by Yamaguchi Jitsumi, one of the first mainland Japanese martial artists to spread Goju Ryu. Yamaguchi didn't train directly under Miyagi for more than a few months to at most a year, but he was very instrumental in spreading karate to Japan and to America. His organization, the Goju Kai, was also one of the first to focus on free sparring in its train. Shorei Khan was the name given by Toguchi Seikichi to his own organization of Goju Ryu. Toguchi was a student of both Miyagi and Higaseko, and opened the first Shorei Khan dojo only one year after Miyagi's death. Toguchi was known for making outreach to American GIs stationed on Okinawa after the Second World War, and as a result, several of his students spread Goju Ryu to America and then around the world. The Goju Ryu Meibukan was founded by Yagi Meitoku, one of Miyagi's senior students and one of the only students to which Miyagi gave permission to teach Goju Ryu during his lifetime. The International Meibukan Goju Ryu Karate Organization is currently headed by Yagi's son Meikatsu, and his grandsons Akihito and Akihiro are chairman and vice chairman. Yagi was gifted Miyagi Sensei's gi and belt by Miyagi's surviving relatives. Miyazato Eiji, another student of Miyagi Sensei and an accomplished judoka, opened the Jundokan in 1956. Previously, he had been the student to succeed Miyagi in teaching at his garden dojo after Miyagi's death, and continued to teach karate throughout his life while serving on the police force in Okinawa. Miyagi's family and his senior students recognized Miyazato Sensei to teach in the garden dojo, but refrained from naming him the sole successor of Goju Ryu. The final organization I want to talk about in this video is kind of an odd one out. USA Goju was founded by Peter Urban, a student of Yamaguchi Jitsumi from Goju Kai. However, Urban and Yamaguchi had a public split in 1963, from which point Urban set out to make USA Goju a separate organization. USA Goju was one of the first American styles of Goju, and still exists to this day. However, after Urban's passing, the organization does not authorize new dojos. This isn't a complete list of Goju Ryu organizations, as many of these organizations have produced senseis who started their own organizations, and factional differences have caused major splits in these organizations. However, I think that this is a representational list of some of the major organizations that are responsible for the current popularity of Goju Ryu around the world. If I've missed your specific organization, feel free to let me know in the comments section, and while you're down there, like this video, and subscribe to this channel if you're interested in seeing the rest of the History of Goju Ryu series when it comes out. Also, let me know if you'd like me to go into more depth about any style or lineage. I've been the Goju Ryu Philosopher, and keep training hard!